Tim here from Getting Epic. So I just received this package in the mail. Came from Rhythm Technologies. I'm going to show you how I'm gonna put on my Zio patch. I recently went and saw my cardiologist for my hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. And during my echo, I was having a lot of PVCs. Like every few seconds, I had a PVC. I don't know if I was just nervous or what, laying on the table, it was just uncomfortable. If the woman's hands were just cold, I have no idea. But for whatever reason, I was just having PVCs up the lazoo. So my doctor wants me to wear this Zio patch for I think seven days. Then he's gonna take these results and make the ultimate decision if I'm gonna need another cardiac ablation surgery. The scary part about this surgery for me is I currently have a single lead ICD. If I have this surgery, most likely it's gonna become a double lead ICD, if not a fully functional pacemaker. Because where my main issue is happening is next to another node, which if you watch my other video, one of my nodes was already removed during my septal myectomy surgery I had just two years ago. I know for a fact I'm gonna have to shave my chest because I've worn one of these before. And to be honest, the hospital that I usually go to puts it on for me. My doctor moved to another hospital and they didn't do it for me. So I'm a little disappointed that I have to do this myself because I have no idea what the frig I'm doing. So I'm gonna have to read the instructions and figure it out, but yeah. Before I open this, I'm gonna run upstairs real quick, take a five minute shower, and shave my whole chest. Just wipe out that hair, both sides, because I don't want it to be lopsided. In the hospital, they only shave one side usually, and then you're like, lopsided. Then I go home and I have to shave it myself. <laughs> the reason I'm gonna shower as well is you generally don't wanna shower for 48 hours until after the patch has really been on you. And even after that, I'm scared of taking a hot shower because the adhesive, you know, under extreme heat would probably just melt and come off. I'm sure you could put a plastic bag over it like they do in the hospital, but that is just so uncomfortable and so much extra work. Luckily, I work from home, so I'm going to take advantage of that. Maybe not shower for a few days. Ew, gross. I know, whatever. All right, let's uh, get this put on. Bear back. All right. Oh, by the way, this shirt is what I'm gonna wear for Halloween, and that's just T minus two days. Hopefully no one has any scary costumes that's gonna set off this heart monitor. Ha 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 ha. All right, chest is shaved. I'm ready to go. I'm not gonna take off this shirt until I need to. <laughs> so, boom, boom. Open this bad boy up. All right, here it is. Boom. Box. Got my instructions. Your healthcare provider, doctor's name, at Leahy HCM has ordered the Zio heart monitor for you to use the next seven days. I was right, seven days, not 14 days, not 10 days. Closely watching your heart at this time will allow the healthcare team to better understand your condition and develop a care plan. Using your Zio is easier than you may think. All you need to do is this. One, apply. It's essential that you put your Zio on immediately following the steps enclosed in the guide. They also give a phone number you can call if you need assistance. Number two, wear. Wear your zero patch for seven days. <laughs> Push the button in the center. All right, so whenever you have any issues, there's a button in the middle I'm gonna show you, you push it. Otherwise, you just kind of wear it as is. That way, it creates a marker, I think. And then usually you have to write something in a notebook. I don't know if this one still has a notebook or not. And then log in your system log. All right, there you go, boom. Or you can download the MyZio app in the App Store. So there is an app. I might try the app this time because I don't really like carrying around a pen in a notebook everywhere. I have my phone everywhere. 
Number three, return. Oh, I don't get to keep it. Bummer. Remove your Zio at the end of the prescribed wear time and place it into the blue box, blue box, in your system log and drop it into the mailbox. The day you remove it, the box is pre-addressed and prepaid. All right, so I can see this is a label already on there. Number four, review. Once we received your Zio, we'll send a report to your healthcare provider and receive your Zio components. Your healthcare provider will let you know when they're ready to review the results with you. If you have any questions, call us at blah, 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 24 hour support. Note, the Zio is the property of iRhythm Technologies. Please return it to avoid being charged for an unreturned monitor. I'm guessing someone never returned it and didn't want to pay for it. All right, cool. So here, here's the box. All right, let's open it up and see what's inside. Boom, boom, boom. I don't want to break this box. Come on. All right, cool. Fancy. All right. So everything looks like it's in the shrink wrap bag. And that's all that's in that box. Patient guide. Apply immediately. Let's open this up. Ready? Let's see if it makes noise. No, there's no popping noise. Right. There you go. There's that symptom log. Skin prep and placement kit. There's the Zeo patch right there. Ready? Whoop. There's a Zeo patch. I don't want to touch it because I don't want to operate it yet. There's this guide, but then they also provide you a book guide. Okay, this book gives you a kind of a little more detail as to what you're going to put on you. I'm sure people have questions. Here comes the fun part. Let's uh, take off the shirt. I am so sorry that you have to look at my chest. I'm sitting low enough that you don't have to look at anything else. Sorry for looking at my boobs. Oh, I feel so naked. Where's my hair? I feel so naked. All right, cool. See, it's nice. Shaved it down myself. I should get some pasties. So as you can see, my scar is still here after two years, it never really healed. My ICD is right here. So yeah, I don't know how this works because I have my ICD. How does this work? Because I have my ICD. Locate the area left on your chest with one finger below the collar and slightly left of the center of your chest. So here's the center because there's a clear line, right? Collar, come over here like this, all right? And you will prepare this area to provide materials. Number two, prep the skin. Shave the prep area. Well, let me tell you folks, they provide you a razor. Let me tell you now, it's made out of plastic and it's got a really small blade on it. Look at that thing. Not the most comfortable thing in the world, but it does the basic task, right? So it's like, huh. Yeah, they already shaved, ha ha ha. Aren't you funny? Sucks for you. You can't take any hair off. All right, well, I already did that part, so whatever. I was comfortable, I used shaving cream, took a shower afterwards, washed it down with soap. I'm feeling pretty happy about that. Next part is to use this sandpaper-like material. 40 strokes across the area, all right? So you need to go across, down, Diagonal up, diagonal down. All right, so 10 times each until you eat equal 40. Like, look, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but that is sandpaper. All right, best part of my day. Be sure to apply some pressure. Yay! Sorry if I keep looking at my screen because I don't have like a big monitor to look at or anything. I need to get better at looking at the lens. You and not the screen. I'm looking at the screen right now. Look at the screen, because it's like looking in a mirror. All right, one, two, 
three, four, five. Oh, uh, yep, I just got my scar. That sucked. Ooh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, I did five extra because I stopped. All right, let's go down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Like dry skin flaking off. I wonder if that's the reason for this. I'll tell you one thing, it burns. All right, let's go diagonal now. Is it red? I don't know. All right, two, three, four, eight. You might see me doing a lot of extra strokes. I'm just paranoid because the first time I ever wore this, after like day four, the thing nearly fell off. And I literally had to tape it on myself with some medical tape. So if I can try my best to get this to stay on, I'm gonna do it. Oh, that burns. All right, <laughs> next step. After you rip up your skin, wipe the area with alcohol for one minute. Give you four pads. Time to go to town again. Oh my God, that fucking burns. And then my chest is now turning red. Oh, that burns. Look at my chest, it's turning red. Ever used like peroxide before on like a cut? That's what it feels like. Why? Why am I doing this? Why am I inflicting pain? Do I need to do all four of these ex alcohol wipes? Damn it. There's that pain again. <sighs> Why am I doing this right now? I need to stop. I need to stop. I need to stop. <sighs> Look, it's like I'm bleeding. There's some redness on there. I don't see blood. Is that dirt? I just took a shower. I don't know what the fuck. Play dead skin. All right. Got two more. We got two more of these things to go. All right. so let's muscle through it. Burn. I think I'm good here. So now it says wait one minute for the area to dry. I'm gonna stop the camera real quick and wait that one minute. It's been one whole minute. Look at this side compared to this side. It's very red. So skin prep, we shaved, which we did that in the shower. We used our sandpaper, which hurt like all effing crazy. Then we used alcohol, which was just stupid. Like, oh. Step number three. Step number three. Remove clear backings of the Zeo patch. Zeo patch. So it says, put it up, stop. Did you use the sandpaper? Yes, I did. That's a very important step, I assume. So when I remove this, I have to make sure the arrow's sticking up and I have to place it on and then I have to rub it with my skin. Remember, my collarbone is right here and I wanna come down, but my middle is right here. Problem is, is I have an ICD right here and I can feel it. It's a big metal thing. And it stops right there. I'm supposed to put it up here and put it on top. If I put it on top, is it gonna pick up the ICD every time the ICD moves? And will it even pick up the heart because it has to go through the ICD? I'm thinking I need to put it down underneath the ICD. So I'm gonna take the giant leap and say, yes, I need to put it down here further. Hell, if the doctor needs me to do this again, I'll do it again. I. I think this is it. It's so close to my nipple. How does that look? Does that look okay? I'm gonna take this off and put it on and hopefully it's good. It's getting serious now. Time not to screw this up. All right, now I'm afraid to even touch this thing. Oh my goodness. Well, I put it down. I guess that's it. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of uncomfortable. I put it on my nipple. <laughs> look, it's on my nipple. My areola. I don't know if I was supposed to do that, but like legit, the ICD ends right here. So I probably could have come up just a little bit, but I don't think it would have mattered very much. So the instructions say to rub into the skin for two minutes. I'm gonna set my watch.
timer for two minutes. I think they're looking for you to apply heat. Honestly, this is really uncomfortable already. It's like, it's grabbing my boob. Seven days. Seven days. I want it up here. I want it up here. If you think about when you pledge allegiance to the flag, it's like, what, right here? It's pretty close. Two minutes lasts forever. To be honest, I did a lot more of the sandpaper up here. I should, probably should have done more down there. I hope I didn't just screw it up. My doctor actually watches some of my videos sometimes. So if you're watching this, please call me out. Text call me. Is it okay if it's touching my nipple? How much time we got? All right, we're good. All right, next step, peel the labels, starting with one and then two. All right, there's one. Ooh, this just doesn't feel right. Why would I want to take this off? Like, uh, whatever. All right, and then number two. I think that white thing was supposed to come with it. Yeah. All right, like that. Now it says to rub it more, rub two more minutes. All right. Two hours, no, I'm not setting my timer for two hours. F that. Really applying heat here. If this ever falls off or you're gonna work out or do anything, I found a great tip to use KT tape and you just put it over, you know, one on either side. And it does not bother my stitches at all or my scars at this point. So by Wednesday, Thursday, I'll check this out and see if anything's starting to move around. If it is, I'll toss on two pieces of KT just to try to get through the remainder of the week. Because honestly, if I have to wear this, I want to get the best results possible. Most people would say, I don't want to get any bad results, so I just want to take it off. Well, this is your health. This is your life. You get one life. You might as well freaking take care of it and take advantage of when they can give you stuff like this. So do your best. 10 seconds. Feels like an eternity. Next step, I'm looking at the instructions. Say to turn it on. I'm gonna push this button right here. Wouldn't it suck if it didn't turn on? I got some wood in front of me. Knock the wood because I'm gonna jinx myself by saying that. All right, now I'm gonna push the button to activate. It will flash green and begin recording your heartbeat. All right, let's see if I can come in nice and close here. Can I lower my desk a little bit? I got a stand-up desk, by the way. Whoop. All right, you ready? One, two, three. Ah, oh, there's a green light blinking. That's a good sign. So it's on. Perfect. Can you see me? All right. Is that it? That's it. My Zeo patch is officially on. I love this desk. This desk is awesome. All right, Zeo patch is on. There's this nice big patient guide. I might read up on it just a schmidge, but I did see a couple of the do's and don'ts, and I do kind of want to read these. Just so everybody's aware, because I know a lot of you just throw this stuff away. Maybe you should just be aware of this stuff before you say yes to yeah I'll, I'll i'll wear one of these patches you know you gotta give up some things all right these are the do's and don'ts keep lotion away do not submerge in water so this is the part about taking a shower it's gonna suck because i like to put my face in the water light activity is okay but try to avoid a lot of sweating this is where the kt tape will come in handy just pop it on if you're gonna work out Make sure it stays in place. Do not shower for the first 24 hours. After 24 hours, keep shower short by facing it away from the shower. Still, that sucks. I can't clean my front end. When your period ends, return the monitor and log as soon as possible. So this is how you use it. The doctor is going to hate me for even doing this because he's going to be like, oh, there's he's having symptoms. Let's go look. Recording of symptoms. A symptom is anything abnormal feeling, such as palpitations or you're feeling dizzy, all right? So for me, my symptoms for PVCs, honestly, I'll be just sitting at my desk working, sitting watching TV, and then I just start feeling really weird. 
I, it's hard to even describe. People ask me all the time, like, how do you feel? Uh, sometimes I'm gasping for air. Um, other times I just feel these like weird bursts in my like chest area. That's the reason I got this Apple Ultra watch. Did I need the Ultra? No, I just wanted it for the battery life. But I use the EKG feature daily and I'll just throw my finger on there and go, okay, I'm having PVCs right now. Let's just take a few minutes and relax. And sometimes I feel those issues and I do it and I have nothing. And it's just in the back of my brain that every time I feel weird, it's a heart issue. So that's why I got the Apple Watch. So if you can afford an Apple Watch, just get the lowest tier version. Just because it has that EKG capability, it's pretty freaking cool. And I can just take it on the fly and it's just a peace of mind for myself. I'll put a link in my description down below for a referral link if you want to help out my channel if you want to buy one on Amazon. I'll give you a link to the new version as well as a version that I had previous to this that worked great and those are on discount right now. So if you want to save some money, check that one out. Sometimes when I stand up quick, I get really dizzy. As you know, I had weight loss surgery and dehydration's huge for me. So sometimes it's a little concerning. Am I dehydrated? Am I hungry? Do I not have enough energy? There's a lot of what ifs. So anytime I'm feeling dizzy, I'm having palpitations, just I feel funny in general at all. All I do is come over where I turn this on, I hit the button once, ready? It makes a clicky noise. And I just logged that I'm having symptoms. I come over to my log here, or I'm gonna download the app. I have an example here. I'm gonna put in the date that my symptom came about, the time of day. I pushed the button because I felt, and these are some of the examples they have, but you can add your own, all right? Anxious, you had arm or neck pain, you had chest pain or pressure, you felt dizzy, that's when I check off a lot. You felt faint, I checked that one off a lot because that kind of goes with the dizziness. Lightheadedness, once again, that goes with the whole dizziness. Pounding of the heart, I get that all the time, that comes along. I get fluttering, yes. Racing of the heart, yes. Shortness of breath, yes. Skip beats, mm-hmm. And then other, the other category I'm interested in because lately I've noticed in the morning hours, I get occasional like squeezing of the heart. Like someone just came over and squeezed my heart and is trying to like juice my heart, but then they stop. It's like the movies are like, go in, take out your heart. That's what it feels like, I don't know. How long does this last? You know, one minute or less, 10 minutes or less, one hour or more, stuff like that. And then um, they wanna know what you were doing. This example said, getting out of bed. And then that's it. So you fill out some basic information and it's a pretty big log book. It's lots of pages. And once you're all set with the whole week, what you're gonna do is you're then gonna remove this Zio patch and you're gonna stick it right here. All right, there's a little diagram. They do have a um, adhesive remover. So it helps you like kind of remove it if it's really stuck on. I've never really used it. I just kind of do the whole rip off, like I'm gonna wax myself. It's gonna look so ugly coming off. It's gonna have hair stuck all over it. You plop it on. Close it, shove it in the box, put it in the mail, you're done. You wait the results. You should check out this video right here. I strongly recommend it. Until next time, this is your life. What are you doing with it? Let's go do something that we can be proud of. Be sure to take care of your health. You only get one life. Hopefully your heart is going good and you're healthy. Take care of yourself, please. Peace out everyone, bye.